Digital marketing has become an important marketing process to outreach target audience at low budget in compression to other marketing medium. Almost every company around the globe is somehow using digital marketing through search engine optimization, social media marketing and paid ads to build strong brand reputation and generate leads. Digital marketing has become very important for business owner and job seeker as well. If you are a business owner or looking for carrier in digital marketing, then this digital marketing tutorial will give in-depth knowledge of digital marketing. Let know the basic of digital marketing through this tutorial. Before moving forward, let us know what we are going to discuss in this digital marketing tutorial. We will cover everything about digital marketing along with some secret tips of search engine optimization to rank your website faster in search engines. In this digital marketing tutorial, we will come to know everything about digital marketing. Why digital marketing is the need of the hour with few digital marketing stats. I will also explain what is the basic difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing. In moving forward, I will explain the type of digital marketing in brief along with traffic measuring and website analyzing tools. Last but not the least, I will tell you which digital marketing should be taken as high priority and which should be on least priority. Which should be used occasionally and which marketing you should regularly use to build a strong brand and keep getting qualified leads. So, let's begin with this digital marketing tutorial to brush our knowledge and boost our sales. So, what is actually digital marketing and at various platform to do marketing? Digital marketing or internet marketing is a marketing process to reach, engage, and generate leads through various online marketing platforms. There are various digital marketing platforms listed below to reach targeted audiences at a low price. Search Engine Optimization We optimize and promote our website through search engines. Social Media Optimization we outreach our target audience on various social media channels such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn etc. through your company brand pages. Pay-per-click or paid ads. Google, Facebook and many other channels offer paid services to connect your target audience through search, display, video or product marketing. Email marketing. This marketing is used to do remarketing and update our customers with latest company news. It has a very high conversion rate, sometimes reaching up to 14% when mail is sent to most target audiences. Affiliate Marketing There are various websites which list your business and they take commission when a lead is generated through it. SMS, WhatsApp Marketing We can say that SMS and WhatsApp is Instant Connect Marketing. You can give your company updates instantly or connect with new customers instantly to tell them about the latest offer so that they can avail their service again. Now the question come, why digital marketing is now important nowadays? After lockdown and cheap internet packages, everyone has become habitual to connect with any company or buy products online. Peoples have started avoiding going out and they are searching all type of services and products online. So, digital marketing has become need of hour for business owners and individuals looking for good career in his life. For startup and enterprises, digital marketing helps to boost visibility exponentially. High reach to target audience at low budget. It's built strong brand awareness and generate leads with exponential increase in sales. For individuals digital marketing is most demanding job with higher salary package. Its demand will stay forever. Even that he can build his own website and earn money. We are talking about one of the most lucrative and fastest growing industries in the world, digital marketing. Let's start by answering the question, how big is the digital marketing industry? Well, to give you an idea, the global digital marketing industry is worth over $350 billion and is expected to reach $640 billion by 2027. This just goes to show how fast the industry is growing and how important it is for businesses to invest in digital marketing. Speaking of investment, let's move on to the topic of budgets for digital marketing. A recent survey showed that companies are spending an average of 10.6% of their revenue on marketing, with 60% of that budget being allocated to digital marketing. 
This means that digital marketing is now more important than ever before, and businesses are investing a significant amount of money in this industry. Now, let's talk about advertising budgets. In 2021, the worldwide advertising spending is expected to reach $674 billion, with digital advertising accounting for over 54% of that spending. This means that digital advertising is the largest segment of the advertising industry and is set to grow even more in the coming years. Speaking of digital advertising, social media is one of the most popular platforms for businesses to advertise on. In fact, social media ad spending is expected to reach $105 billion in 2021, which is a 20% increase from the previous year. This just shows how important social media is for businesses to reach their target audience and how it is becoming a crucial part of the digital marketing industry. Let's talk about the age-old debate of traditional marketing versus digital marketing. Which one is better? Well, we'll give you a hint, it's digital marketing. Let's start by looking at traditional marketing. One of the biggest drawbacks of traditional marketing is limited reach. Traditional marketing channels like print, television, and radio are expensive and can only reach a limited audience. Plus, it's non-versatile, which means you can't customize your message to specific audiences. With traditional marketing, communication is delayed and you can't get real-time results to see how well your campaign is doing. All of these factors make traditional marketing very costly and it can be challenging to reach your target audience. Now, let's compare this to digital marketing. With digital marketing, you have the benefits of maximum reach. You can target a global audience with a single click of a button. Plus, digital marketing is versatile, which means you can customize your message to specific audiences. Instant communication is a big advantage of digital marketing. You can get real-time results to see how well your campaign is doing, which allows you to make adjustments as needed. Plus, digital marketing is cost-efficient compared to traditional marketing, and you can easily reach your target audience. Another big advantage of digital marketing is the ability to measure your success with analytics. With traditional marketing, it's tough to track the success of your campaign, but with digital marketing, you have access to detailed analytics that show you how many people are seeing your ads, how many are clicking through to your website, and even how many are converting to customers. So, to sum it up, Digital marketing is the future of marketing. It has maximum reach, is versatile, offers instant communication, provides real-time results, is cost-efficient, and allows you to reach your target audience easily. Traditional marketing, on the other hand, has limited reach, is non-versatile, offers delayed communication, provides no real-time results, is very costly, and can be challenging to reach your target audience. So, if you want to get ahead in the marketing game, we highly recommend you to switch to digital marketing. Let's talk about different types of digital marketing that you can use to boost your online presence. Digital marketing is essential for any business, and it can help you reach a wider audience and grow your business faster. So, let's dive in and explore these types of digital marketing. Engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the process of optimizing your website to rank higher in search engine results pages which can drive more traffic to your website. Search engine optimization involves researching and using the right keywords, optimizing your website's content, and building quality backlinks. The second type of digital marketing is social media optimization. Social media optimization is the process of optimizing your social media profiles to improve your online presence. This includes creating quality content, engaging with your followers, and building a strong online community. The third type of digital marketing is paid ads, which can be in the form of pay-per-click ads or Google AdWords. Paid ads allow you to reach your target audience quickly, drive traffic to your website, and generate leads. Paid ads work on a bidding system, where you pay for each click or impression. The fourth type of digital marketing is email marketing. Email marketing involves sending promotional emails to your subscribers to promote your products or services. It's an effective way to reach your target audience. Type of digital marketing is affiliate marketing, which involves partnering with other businesses to promote each other's products or services. Affiliate marketing can help you reach a wider audience and generate more sales. 
The sixth and final type of digital marketing is SMS or WhatsApp marketing. SMS or WhatsApp marketing involves sending promotional messages to your customers via SMS or WhatsApp. This can be an effective way to reach your customers quickly and drive traffic to your website. These are the six different types of digital marketing that you can use to boost your online presence. Each type of digital marketing has its unique advantages, and you can choose the one that best fits your business needs. By combining different types of digital marketing, you can create a comprehensive digital marketing strategy that can help you reach a wider audience, generate more leads, and grow your business faster. Digital marketing campaign measurement tools are essential for tracking the performance of your digital marketing campaigns and optimizing them for better results. So, let's dive in and explore these tools. The first tool we'll be discussing is Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free tool that can help you track and measure your website's performance. It allows you to see how many people are visiting your website, which pages they're visiting, how long they're staying on your site, and more. You can also track conversions and set up goals to measure the success of your digital marketing campaigns. Google Analytics is a powerful tool that can help you make data-driven decisions to improve your website's performance and optimize your digital marketing campaigns. The second tool we'll be discussing is Google Search Console. Google Search Console is another free tool that can help you monitor your website's performance in Google search results. It allows you to see which keywords are driving traffic to your website, how many clicks you're getting, and which pages are ranking the highest. You can also use Google Search Console to submit sitemaps, fix crawling errors, and more. By using Google Search Console, you can optimize your website for better search engine rankings and improve the visibility of your digital marketing campaigns. The third tool we'll be discussing is Google Keyword Planner. Google Keyword Planner is a free tool that can help you research and identify the best keywords for your digital marketing campaigns. It allows you to see the search volume and competition for specific keywords, which can help you choose the right keywords to target in your campaigns. You can also get ideas for new keywords and see how they perform in different regions and languages. By using Google Keyword Planner, you can create more effective digital marketing campaigns that target the right audience with the right keywords. By using these tools, you can measure the performance of your digital marketing campaigns, track conversions, optimize your website for better search engine rankings, and identify the best keywords for your campaigns. On-page optimization refers to the practices you can apply directly to your website to improve your search engine ranking. This includes optimizing your website's content, titles, descriptions, images, and URLs. For example, you should include relevant keywords in your page titles and descriptions, optimize images using alt tags, and ensure your URLs are search engine optimization friendly. Another important aspect of on-page optimization is your website's internal linking structure. This helps search engines understand the structure of your website and improves your website's navigation. When done correctly, internal linking can help spread link authority throughout your website, increasing your website's ranking potential. Off-page optimization refers to the practices you apply outside of your website to improve your search engine ranking. This includes link building, social media marketing, and other online marketing strategies. The goal of off-page optimization is to improve the perceived authority and trustworthiness of your website in the eyes of search engines. Link building involves getting other websites to link to your website. These links act as a vote of confidence, indicating to search engines that your website is authoritative and trustworthy. Social media marketing, on the other hand, involves promoting your website and its content on social media platforms to increase engagement and drive traffic to your website. Now let's talk about Google Analytics, a free tool provided by Google to help website owners track and analyze website traffic. Google Analytics provides valuable insights into your website's performance, including where your traffic is coming from, which pages are popular, and how visitors are interacting with your website. This data can help you make informed decisions about your website's content and marketing strategies. Google Search Console is another essential tool provided by Google that helps website owners monitor and maintain their website's presence in Google search results. 
Search Console provides information about which keywords your website is ranking for, the number of clicks your website is receiving, and any technical issues that may be affecting your website's performance. Search Console also allows you to submit sitemaps, remove URLs from search results, and see which websites are linking to your website. This information can help you identify areas of your website that need improvement and develop strategies to boost your search engine ranking. Social media optimization is the process of optimizing your social media accounts and posts to increase your reach, followers, and engagement. In this video, we will discuss several strategies that you can use to optimize your social media accounts and increase your online presence. The first and most important strategy for SMO is to share relevant posts with hashtags daily. This means that you should be sharing posts that are relevant to your audience and industry, and you should be using hashtags that are relevant to those posts. Hashtags help your posts reach a wider audience and increase their visibility. You should aim to post on social media daily or at least a few times a week. By doing this, you can keep your audience engaged and interested in your brand. Be sure to mix up your posts by sharing different types of content, such as images, videos, and blog posts. The second strategy for SMO is to increase the outreach of shared posts. This means that you should be sharing your posts on multiple social media platforms and engaging with your followers on each platform. By doing this, you can increase your reach and get your posts in front of more people. One way to increase the outreach of your shared posts is to cross-promote them on different social media platforms. For example, you can share a post on Instagram and then share it again on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. This will ensure that your post is seen by a wider audience and increase its overall reach. The third strategy for SMO is to increase your followers on social media sites. This means that you should be actively engaging with your followers, responding to their comments and messages, and running social media campaigns to attract new followers. One way to attract new followers is to run a social media contest. This could be as simple as asking your followers to like and share your post or as complex as a full-blown social media campaign. The goal is to get your followers engaged and to attract new followers to your brand. The fourth and final strategy for SMO is to reply to user queries. This means that you should be actively monitoring your social media accounts for questions or comments from your followers and responding to them promptly. This will show your followers that you care about their concerns and are committed to providing excellent customer service. One way to streamline your response to user queries is to use social media management tools such as Hootsuite or Buffer. These tools allow you to monitor multiple social media accounts from a single dashboard and respond to user queries quickly and efficiently. Let's discuss some of the most popular types of paid ads, including pay-per-click ads, Facebook ads, Google AdWords ads, and remarketing. We will also dive deeper into Google AdWords ads and discuss the various types of ads you can create using this platform. The first type of paid ad we will discuss is pay-per-click ads. These ads are a popular form of online advertising where advertisers pay each time a user clicks on one of their ads. Pay-per-click ads are typically displayed at the top of search engine results pages and are a great way to drive traffic to your website. To create a successful PPC ad campaign, you need to conduct thorough keyword research and create relevant ad copy that will encourage users to click on your ad. You can also use pay-per-click ads to target specific demographics, locations, and devices. The second type of paid ad we will discuss is Facebook ads. Facebook is one of the largest social media platforms in the world, with over 2.8 billion monthly active users. Facebook ads are a great way to target specific demographics and interests and drive traffic to your website or social media pages. Facebook ads allow you to choose from various ad formats, including image ads, video ads, carousel ads, and more. You can also use Facebook's ad targeting tools to target specific demographics, interests, and behaviors. The third type of paid ad we will discuss is Google AdWords ads. Google AdWords is a popular pay-per-click advertising platform that allows you to create and display ads on the Google search engine results pages. Google AdWords offers various types of ads, including search ads, display ads, app promotion ads, video ads, and shopping ads. Search ads are text-based ads that appear at the top of Google search results. 
Display ads are image-based ads that appear on websites within the Google Display Network. App promotion ads are designed to drive app installs and in-app actions. Video ads are short video clips that appear before or during a YouTube video. Shopping ads are designed to promote your products on Google Shopping. To create successful AdWords ads, you need to choose the right ad format and targeting options and create compelling ad copy and visuals that will encourage users to click on your ad. The final type of paid ad we will discuss is remarketing. Remarketing is a technique where you target users who have already interacted with your brand or website. This is done by displaying ads to users who have previously visited your website or engaged with your social media pages. Remarketing is a great way to re-engage users who may have shown interest in your brand but did not convert. You can use remarketing ads to encourage users to return to your website and complete a purchase or sign up for a newsletter. Email marketing is a powerful tool that allows you to reach a large audience at a low cost. In this video, we will discuss some of the best practices for email marketing, including how to break your subscriber database, how to personalize your emails, how to format your emails for mobile view, and when is the right time to send your emails. We will also discuss some of the popular email marketing platforms, such as MailChimp and Sendinblue. The first step to successful email marketing is to break your subscriber database into different groups based on their interests and behaviors. By segmenting your database, you can create targeted email campaigns that are more likely to resonate with your audience. For example, you can segment your database by age, gender, location, interests, and more. This will help you tailor your email content and ensure that your messages are relevant to your audience. The next step to successful email marketing is to personalize your emails. Personalization is key to engaging your audience and driving conversions. You can personalize your emails by including the recipient's name, location, and other relevant information. You can also use dynamic content to personalize your emails based on the recipient's interests and behaviors. This will help you create more targeted and relevant email campaigns. With the majority of email being read on mobile devices, it's important to ensure that your emails are properly formatted for mobile view. This means using a responsive design that adapts to different screen sizes and avoiding large images and long paragraphs. You should also use a clear and concise subject line and preview text that will grab the recipient's attention and encourage them to open your email. Finally, it's important to choose the right time to send your emails. The best time to send your emails will depend on your audience and the type of content you are sending. Generally, you should avoid sending emails on weekends and holidays when people are less likely to check their inbox. You should also consider the time zone of your audience and send your emails at a time when they are most likely to be checking their email. Affiliate marketing is a performance-based marketing strategy where affiliates promote your products or services and in return, receive a commission for any sales, leads, or clicks generated. This means you only pay for results, making it a cost-effective way to expand your reach and grow your customer base. Pay-per-click or PPC is an advertising model where advertisers pay the publisher every time their ad is clicked. In affiliate marketing, PPC refers to a commission paid to the affiliate for each click on your ad. This means that you can attract more traffic to your website and only pay when potential customers are interested in your products or services. Paper Lead or PPL is an affiliate marketing model where you pay the affiliate a commission for every lead generated. This can be a sign-up for a newsletter, filling out a form, or other actions that indicate interest in your product or service. This means that you can build a database of potential customers and only pay for the ones who have shown genuine interest in your business. Paper Sale or PPS is an affiliate marketing model where you pay the affiliate a commission for every sale made. This means that you only pay when a customer makes a purchase, which can be a cost-effective way to increase sales without spending a lot on advertising. Cost per acquisition or CPA is an affiliate marketing model where you pay the affiliate a commission for every customer required. This means that you only pay for customers who have completed a specific action, such as making a purchase or signing up for a subscription. This can be an effective way to build a loyal customer base, as you only pay for customers who have a higher potential for repeat business. 
The amount you can earn through affiliate marketing depends on several factors, including the commission rate, the number of affiliates, and the type of products or services being promoted. With a well-designed affiliate marketing program, you can attract more traffic to your website, increase conversions, and generate more revenue for your business. SMS and WhatsApp marketing are both powerful communication tools that allow you to send personalized messages to your customers. This type of marketing is effective because it has a higher reach and helps build a strong relationship with your customers. SMS and WhatsApp marketing have a higher reach compared to other marketing channels. Almost everyone has a mobile phone, and most people have their phones with them all the time. This means that your messages will reach your customers instantly and directly, without getting lost in a crowded inbox. SMS and WhatsApp marketing are also great tools to build strong relationships with your customers. By sending personalized messages, you can show your customers that you care about them and that you value their business. This type of communication can help you build brand loyalty and keep customers coming back for more. SMS and WhatsApp marketing can also provide real-time customer service. By using these platforms, you can quickly respond to your customers' inquiries and provide the information they need when they need it. This type of service can help you stand out from your competitors and create a positive experience for your customers. SMS and WhatsApp marketing is also one of the lowest-cost marketing channels available. You can send hundreds or thousands of messages to your customers for a fraction of the cost of traditional marketing methods. This means that you can reach a large audience without breaking the bank. To send SMS and WhatsApp messages, you can use platforms such as TextLocal and MSG91. These platforms allow you to create and send personalized messages to your customers. You can also track the success of your campaigns and make adjustments as needed. As more and more businesses move online, digital marketing has become increasingly important. But with so many channels available, it can be hard to know where to focus your efforts. Lastly, let's discuss which channels to prioritize and why. The first marketing channel that a company should prioritize is email marketing. Email marketing is a highly effective way to engage with your audience, build relationships, and drive sales. It allows you to personalize your messages and deliver targeted content to your subscribers. The second channel that a company should prioritize is paid advertising. Paid advertising allows you to reach a highly targeted audience and to measure and optimize your campaigns in real time. This can help you achieve your marketing goals quickly and efficiently. The third channel that a company should prioritize is blogging. Blogging allows you to create valuable content that your audience will find useful and engaging. It can also help improve your search engine rankings and drive traffic to your website. The fourth channel that a company should prioritize is press releases. Press releases allow you to communicate with journalists and media outlets and to get your company's news and announcements in front of a wider audience. The fifth channel that a company should prioritize is SMS and WhatsApp marketing. As we discussed in our previous video, SMS and WhatsApp marketing have a high reach, build strong relationships with customers, offer real-time customer service, and are one of the lowest-cost marketing channels. The next channel that a company should focus on is search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is important for increasing your website's visibility and attracting more traffic. However, it can take time to see results, which is why it's a medium priority. Finally, affiliate marketing is a low priority for a company. While it can be effective, it requires a lot of time and resources to manage and may not deliver the same ROI as other marketing channels. Digital marketing is essential for any company looking to grow their business online. By prioritizing email marketing, paid advertising, blogging, press releases, SMS and WhatsApp marketing, and search engine optimization, you can create a comprehensive and effective digital marketing strategy that drives results. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Do you have any questions? Subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my webinar at 11am every Sunday to clear all your doubts and update you about latest digital marketing strategy.